This video is sponsored by Skillshare. What's going on guys? First and foremost, I want to say thank you. We hit 90,000 subscribers. I'm super excited. 10 more of those things and we'll reach 100k subscribers, guys. So I want to say a huge thanks to everyone who is new and also a bigger thanks to everyone who's coming from all the way down from 10k, 5k subscribers. I really appreciate it. At 100k, I'll be doing a huge giveaway, so make sure you guys stick around. But today, people, today we have the Mac Mini, M1 Mac Mini. So, as you guys know, I'm a Windows fanboy, PC lover at heart. I do all my editing, my gaming, everything on my PC. So this is going to be the first time I will be unboxing and using an M1 Mac Mini or Mac desktop. So this is going to be an experience for me and I wanted to share that experience with you guys and I'm going to have like different videos on this M1 Mac Mini so if you guys have any ideas and anything you want me to test out with this M1 Mac Mini drop them down below in the comments is it editing gaming what do you want to see me do with this M1 Mac Mini guys help me out down below and yeah let's get on to the unboxing this is gonna be, I said before, a first time experience. And I'm actually gonna edit this video with the M1 Mac Mini. So anything you're seeing has been edited with Final Cut Pro. But let's go. So this is the base model, eight gig of RAM, 256 gig storage. It's supposed to be on the back of the box, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I like the packaging and everything. Let's look at the back. Oh yeah, there we go. So you can see the 8 gig memory, 256 gig storage. So yeah, I think that's the base model. And yeah, let's pull this out, look inside. I said before, this is not like brand new sealed. Apple sent it out to me. But yeah, let's put this to the side. It's kind of, I like the weight. It's not too heavy. I like the silver as well. It's going to go great with my white setup. So inside here, I guess this is just, oh, an Apple sticker. We love Apple stickers. So this is a big Apple sticker. I've never seen an Apple sticker this big before. But yeah, we have an actual silver Apple sticker too. That's nice. Shout out to all the Apple sticker fanboys. We have some paperwork with the Mac Mini. Guess they just, oh, look at that Pro XDR display. Something I'll never get. <laughs> and yeah, this is just basically showing you guys how to set up the Mac Mini. I think I'm smart enough to figure out how to power everything on. And also we have this nice black power cable, is it? Yep. So this is the power cable. Is that it? Yeah, that's all we get inside the packaging. I guess it's worth it. I think this costs 600, around $600 US. So yeah, for the base model, that's really great. Hearing that it could, like I heard this thing could edit 4K, 422 10-bit video seamlessly in Final Cut Pro, so I'm excited to test that out. But before we turn this thing on, let's take a quick look around the port selection. So around the back here, if you guys can see, we have a power button, very tactile, the power the arm cord, so this is where we put our power cords in, the Ethernet cable. You guys know how much I love my Ethernet speeds, so this is going to be really, really like coming clutch for this fast downloads and uploads. We have two USB-C Thunderbolt Type-C ports right here, one HDMI port. I think they could have added more ports. I'm not sure if it's because I have the base model, but they could have added like two HDMI ports, maybe one more Type-C, but it is what it is. You could get like external docks for this thing. I've been looking on Amazon, guys, and I've seen a lot of good accessories for the Mac Mini, which I'll be ordering soon. So yeah, I'm just excited about this thing. We also have two USB Type-A ports and one um headphone jack 3.5 millimeter headphone jack we have a headphone jack round of applause <laughs> we have a headphone jack people it's alive on the mac mini looking at this base right here you can see that little mac mini embroidered not embroidered but stitched in not stitched but engraved i think i think engraved is the right word so for this base it gives like a little elevation off the desk as you guys can see Ooh. Nice at the elevation. I wish it was more um, sticky, but that's fine. And also, this is where the speaker is built in as well. But yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, we have this little status indicator. So I guess this will light up if it's powered on or something. I don't know. But yeah, let's turn this thing on. Let's get my laptop out the way, my PC stuff. And let's get cooking, baby. Let's go.
You heard that the the lights on. We heard that Mako is on, and you guys already know we have the dual setup right here, and it's silent. <laughs> Yo, wonder if it's gonna be this silent every time. You guys know normally when you turn on your PC, you start to hear those fans kick. All right, so I have my dual monitor setup. I probably need to configure this in the settings somehow, but we need to breeze through this entire setup process right here. It's talking. It's talking. It's telling us to press the return key. Once I breeze through the setup process and everything, we'll get back into the video and run some, I don't know, editing tests. So the Mac Mini is finished, I did everything, installed all my favorite apps, all that good stuff. So now it's time, I was tempted to use Premiere Pro, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Final Cut Pro thanks to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is the perfect sponsor for today's video because I've actually been using it to learn a lot about Final Cut Pro. And if you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community platform with thousands of different inspiring classes available for you guys to go ahead and learn new skills or even build upon the skills that you already own. Skillshare has a wide variety of different classes ranging from creativity to productivity and even classes about cooking if you're in, like interested in that stuff. And to tell you guys the truth, the class I've been hooked on recently is the video editing class with Final Cut Pro 10 from Ali Abdal, who's actually a well-known YouTuber. And as I said before, I've been telling you guys the N1 Mac is finally here. So this class was super vital for me and that's what I've been using. Now I could crush this edit in Final Cut Pro 10. Skillshare is also really affordable with an annual subscription costing just under $10 a month. But you guys know I got you, right? So the first 1,000 people to click the links down below in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership so you guys could go out and start exploring your creativity. And thanks again, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get to editing this video that we're watching right now. <laughs> Okay guys, I know it's been almost, it, like, I mean, the another, it's another day, okay? It's another day, don't judge me, but I've made progress. My first time editing in Final Cut Pro, I did all of this, guys. This is a 422 10-bit video recorded with my Sony a7S III, and look how smooth this is. It plays back super fast, like, everything works well. And also, even if, like, this is on 8,000 speed, no buffer. Look right here, guys. 8,000 speed M1 Mac Mini playing smoothly, no buffer. I don't know how it does it. I don't know if it renders it. But, yeah, this has been a smooth, smooth, very smooth experience editing with Final Cut Pro. In my next video, we're going to test Premiere Pro to see if we get that same experience. But so far, I'm loving the workflow. It's a headache, but once you get everything down packed, I think it would be really, really impressive to edit in this Final Cut Pro 10 software. Quick, quick update. So this is the keyboard I'm using. As you guys can see, it doesn't have any MacBook Legends on top. So I'm gonna get rid of this keyboard for now. And I replaced it with this wireless keyboard actually that works really well. And it has those Mac keys, as you can see the command. You have this, all that Mac stuff, options, all that good stuff. So yeah, now I could actually know what I'm pressing. I was actually like researching the different keyboard layouts and everything. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this keyboard. It's the RK6071, if you guys are wondering. Yeah, it's really cool because it has those Mac keycaps and it's wireless. This one was wired, so all right.
right, so that's it. That's a wrap. One thing I must say, these export times on the M1 Mac Mini is insane. Super fast. Really excited to try more stuff with it. But yeah, that's it for today's video, unboxing and setup. Let me know down below in the comments what else should I do with this M1 Mac Mini. Please let me know and I'll do it. Again, guys, thank guys. Again, guys, thanks for 90,000 subscribers. As always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.